Hey, what's up? Today, I'm gonna be doing another what the flip nugget is happening in these pictures where we look at some pictures and we, uh, we talk about them and I'll make some jokes. And ugh, this is, this is literally like the part I hate the worst about the video is the intro. Ugh, I, got, I don't, I don't have shit to say. Hey? Right? Nobody got something you wanna say? Kobe? Kobe, how about you? No? All right, let's just do the video. This is what the f is happening in these pictures number 73. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Here's a guy that clearly did not return the shopping cart. Come on, man. You can't just steal a shopping cart, turn it into a rocket-powered car. Arrest that man. Oh, what is this? The Walmart Olympics? Is that what's happening? Where'd you get the shopping cart from? Where'd you get the jet rocket from? Maybe that's what I should be asking. Is this going to burn? Because I feel very scared for your crotch right now. There's gonna be a lot of heat generated from this thing and you're straddling it. What if you fall backwards? You will die. Very dangerous. I see explosive things next to it. This doesn't seem safe. Everyone, right? Maybe it's safe, I don't know. Put, put your visor down, please, before you for you jet off. He insists on following me to the bathroom, so I made him useful at least. Oh, you turned your cat, that picture is adorable. You turned your cat into a toilet paper holder. Actually, this one has um, words on it, so I guess this probably shouldn't be in this video because we know what happened. Your cat likes to watch you poop. That's cool. Here's the alarming thing to me is you put the toilet paper roll backwards. That's gonna be annoying. What, you don't, you, so you, you gotta go like this and flick it from underneath? I hate that shit. I don't know, I guess it's subjective. There's probably some people that like it that way. Not me, no. No, you, you I wanna go bu bu pull. But I don't want to have to be like... <laughs> Actually, when I forget to change the toilet paper roll, my wife deliberately puts it on upside down the way she knows I don't like it to be like, yeah, that's what happens when you don't change the toilet paper roll. <laughs> Is that passive aggressive? Maybe a little bit. I think it's funny. Give me all of your bee syrup now. Please don't take it from me. My wife is pregnant. This just seems like very weird artwork that someone did. Did you make this in class? It looks like it was entered into a competition. Nice. You know what? I respect it. I respect that someone put this together and it creeps me out a little bit. Especially the little piglet. He looks just like... He... I just... They just both look... Words not coming to describe picture frame. Moving on now. Okay, here is apparently a picture of Godzilla being made the chief of a Tokyo station for one day. Hooray! And then he disbanded the police force and... Um, yeah, he let all the criminals out. And then he just started smashing buildings and shooting laser beams at things. Gamma rays. I missed this Godzilla movie. I didn't see the one where it was like Detective Godzilla and he goes, I would actually watch that movie. Like Godzilla as a detective, he gets partnered up with wise Kraken Chris Tucker and they have to go save someone's daughter. Yeah, like, yeah, Rush Hour 5 or 6 or whatever, whatever one's next. Godzilla and Chris Tucker. Jackie Chan can be in there somewhere. Actually, just put Jackie Chan in the Godzilla outfit. Perfect. And then that'll be like the big reveal in the end is that it was actually Jackie Chan the whole time, not actually Godzilla. Now, I don't know how the hell this happens, but it happened. How did you get that up there? I feel like it's been put up there deliberately to like add an extension onto the house, like a cheap way to make an extension. I guess you would take the railing down and then just kind of crane lift it into there. Maybe even a, a big forklift. I don't know. They got it done though. Cool. That's one way to add an extension on your house. I remember that there was a, there was someone in my neighborhood a while back and they're putting an extension on their house and they were just doing it themselves. So it took them a couple years to get it done and I remember for that two years the running joke with my wife was just running by like hmm oh I wonder if they're putting an extension on that house oh yeah it looks because we clearly knew it was an ex this is just one of those jokes that was between me and my wife and I shouldn't even be bringing it up you know what it's not funny you don't care let's move on oh another car Sweet! This one does not look like it's an extension to a house. How do you get the car? Again, probably crane lifted up there. Is that how you got it up there? And I just don't think this balcony is rated to hold the weight of a car, okay? I don't think the balcony should have that much weight on it. The people underneath, don't use your balcony. 
No, you will get crushed by a car. There's a door that goes to nowhere. Oh, I know what's happening here. That's the door that you take people up to and then you just kick them down to their death, right? You just trick people up there, like people that you're like, oh yeah, come into my house, sure, yeah. Like, you know, uh, I don't know, like an annoying door-to-door -door salesman. They don't really exist that much anymore, but I do have people still creepily knocking at my door late at night. You know, you invite them in and you're like, hey, come on upstairs. And then you go to that door and then you kick them out of your house and you're like, yeah, and stay out. But then you just kill a person and then you're going to jail. So maybe just don't open the door when someone knocks on your door late at night. That's what I do. I never understand when someone comes around trying to like um, solicit to you at like 8 p.m. Like, it's dark out. I'm putting my kids to sleep. Please do not knock on my door. I've even had a sign on my door. One of those like kids are napping. Please don't. It said some clever thing like you're going to have to babysit the baby if you wake him up. Apparently a lot of people want to babysit my kid because they're always knocking on the door. I took that sign down because I'm like it doesn't work. It never works. Anyway, Michael J. Fox receiving standing ovation during appearance at 2024 BAFTAs. Y'all gonna stop bringing these sick folks out? Damn. Grow up. Yeah, seriously, grow up. This is more of a, like, what the fuck, why would you say that kind of moment here? What, we're gonna hide our sick people like we're living in the ancient times? Sick people are like cast into the canyon? That's not the world we live in anymore. And Michael J. Fox is a damn legend. Okay, he deserves a standing ovation. He deserves to be out there on the stage because he did a lot and he doesn't deserve to be sick. He didn't ask for it, all right? Hide the sick people is basically what that comment said. Disgusting. Who raised that person? Disgusting human being. And again, a lot of people do that shit because they're just rage baiting, right? That person probably doesn't even really feel that way. They're just like, yeah, then I can argue in the comments all night and drink my Mountain Dew. Just for the record, I love Mountain Dew. Nothing against Mountain Dew, okay? Uh, someone told me recently that it destroys your teeth, though, so... One of you fans commented that. I've been drinking Mountain Dew for a very long time. You could have told me earlier. Okay, this is a quarter in the Mothman's ass crack. Why is there a quarter in Mothman's ass crack? Because you know you could bounce a quarter off that ass. Why does Mothman have such a bootylicious booty? Actually, the first person to ever witness and describe Mothman described him as so thick it'll make you sick. Yeah, it was an uh, old school pimp in the 70s. And then he was like, oh yeah, and then big wings like a moth and big red eyes, but that booty, man, booty for days. I wonder if this is actually like a camera trick, you know? Like it's not really a quarter in Mothman's booty, but it's really just in Mothman's armpit. You know, like when you take a picture of like a close-up of your, your fingers like this and you're like, oh, it's my butthole. <laughs> I mean, I don't do that to people. No, it's always real pictures of my butthole. Here's something a little gross. This is an ancient piece of human leather that was found. So I guess like a thousand years ago or some shit, someone made some human leather. Well, that's disgusting. I don't want to see what I would look like as a coat. It just makes me feel bad for all the animals we turn into leather. I don't want to feel bad. Stop showing me things that make me feel bad. Here's a very talented gymnast. What the f is that talent? Look at that dog there had a stroke. It's not a dog, it's a stuffed animal, don't worry. And you know what, just for the record, this one's only censored because I felt like she had a little bit too much of a front wedgie. She is fully clothed, it's just, uh, I didn't want to show that. How do you do that? No, that's gotta be two different people, right? Her body, oh, her top half isn't attached to the bottom half. It's funny, because we got this picture of her smiling, but she actually wasn't supposed to bend that way, and like, a half a second later, she's screaming in pain and rolling on the ground because her back just snapped in half. Holy shit, that's impressive. <laughs> Someone rearranged their grandma's, uh, their grandma's stickers on her, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Creamy shits, she was so pissed. Well, I get pretty pissed when I have creamy shits too. You want it to be solid. You just sat there for so long, like what dirty word can I make out of this? And then creamy shits came to you. I see there's three letters you didn't use there in the corner. It's a shame there wasn't a D, it could have been dreamy shits. Like, really cute shits. Peace on earth, creamy shits. Kobe, you gotta stop snoring, buddy. Yeah, you. It's okay. You're not in trouble. Go back to sleep. Don't give me those sad eyes. Yeah, so well-trained, I say sleep, and they 
they just they do it. Why do these Spider-Man balloons exist? That's what I want to know. When you made the Spider-Man balloon, you had to know that it was going to look like a string was tied to Spider-Man's dick, right? You had to know that, didn't you? Like, are you just... just... <laughs> you just didn't give a shit? There had to be a hundred better ways to attach this balloon. Like, literally, you could have just put a little hoop down there to attach it to his crotch. You didn't need to extend the costume down. Imagine if this is what Spider-Man's costume looked like in the movies. He's always known for having his, like, cod piece. Like, you know those, the underwear that has, like, an elephant's trunk for you to s slide, you, you know? If his, uh... <laughs> If, I'm not saying if his costume featured a pair of uh, elephant trunk underwear, but, he, you know, what if he had a space for it that just... I feel like a lot less bad guys would want to fight him. This one was posted to the What the Fuck Reddit. Anyone ever see a casket on the side of the road next to the cemetery? No, why don't you go up there and open it and then poke whatever's inside it? Vampires. Vampires. 100% vampires. I don't know why they're out in the day like that, just sitting out in the open. You'd think they'd be more discreet, but no. It's a, there's a vampire in there. Just steer clear. Now, here's the thing, though. Someone in the comments actually explained this one. That is not actually a casket, but rather a vault. The casket would go inside of that prior to burial. Interesting that it is just sitting like that, though. It might have just gotten dropped off by the vault company for the funeral home to use for a funeral. Oh, okay. Thank you for making it super boring and not mysterious at all now. Jerk. Smirk jerk. Is it to make sure that someone is buried alive? They definitely can't claw their way out. Okay, now it's creepy again. I like this. I like where it's going. It prevents the casket from falling apart due to water and time. Then earth around the casket collapses in. Done to keep the cemetery looking nice and allows them to use heavy machinery to move over old graves. Oh, great. Great, yeah, it's fucking boring again. Wait. Okay, this one doesn't look boring at all. This is a naked man with a shovel. I have spared you the the man's bony little butt. All right. What happened? How did you get into a situation where you're trying to fend off people in a river with a shovel? These poor workers are like, please just get on the stretcher. It's cold out here. I don't want to accidentally touch your package. Just get on the stretcher. You know, this guy's going to come at him like, Aah! It is like Wang's gonna be flying around and they're gonna be like, no, no, it's gonna be bad. You know, just let him go for a swim. What in the crystal meth is going on around here? That's what this person said about this car, but I'm gonna remove the words because, uh, I don't know, in case any of you have uh, epilepsy, I don't want any of my fans to have an epileptic seizure because of how... How bright the words are. There's just too much going on in this picture. Seriously, what happened to this car? What in the fuck? The trunk has been made into a spoiler and like, is that a couch on the back of it? With little punching bags? It looks like they've just used everything they can to fix this car. It's been wrapped in cloth. It looks like someone crocheted blankets. Cozies for the doors. It's probably some like... 80 year old grandma who just crochets like a boss and she's like oh yeah i did a cozy for a car have you seen my grandma's knuckles man those things are like eggs and she still crochets every day all right now let's play a fun guessing game these ones have words that explain what is happening in the picture so we're gonna look at the picture first and then you guys get to guess in the comments or just in your mind and you can be like, wow, I wonder what's happening. You get it? It's a guessing game. Let's do it. Here's a fridge on the side of the road. What happened to this fridge? What? I put this old fridge outside with a sign saying free. Three days and nobody touched it. So I changed the sign to $50. It was stolen that night. And then they realized it was just a stinky old fridge that nobody wants even for 50 bucks. That's kind of sad that you had to basically not give it away for free just so someone would take it for free. It's funny you even thought of that. I would have just left it out there with a free sign or I would have drove it to the dump. Wait a minute, I just realized that this photo of this fridge is a stock photo. Ah, uh, okay, so this whole story is just bullshit. Sweet. Liar! You liar! I trusted you, internet. Oh, that's what I get. That's what I get. First time the internet has ever told me a lie. Wow. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, here is a picture of some slimy, nasty, I don't even know what the hell to call it. It looks like someone took a very thick shit on a plate. All right, take a guess. What do you think it is? Is it a giant turd? 
Or maybe it's a giant turd. Or maybe it's a giant turd. I present to you this horrifying Christmas guest that arrived when my roommate made pumpkin bread. Bread. That's what my bread looks like. But substituted whatever Robin Williams used in flubber instead of flour. Yum. Update. He for some reason used arrowroot powder instead of flour, which normally is used in very small increments as an egg substitute. He has a lot of food allergies. Also, he tried it. I did not in fear it would crawl back up in my throat and try to kill me or take over my brain. You made the right choice by not trying it, but you know, you made it, you gotta at least take a bite. I wonder. The fact that he just said he tried it, I feel like there would have been like, oh, it was actually really good. No, I mean, he tried it. I, would it not have been crazy if he tried it and he still had an allergic reaction? Like, son of a bitch! That thing looks disgusting. That is not bread. Why did you even bring it? I guess just bring it as a joke. Like, look, I tried. Because if you're just like, oh, it didn't work, they'll be like, oh, sure. Trying to get out of contributing to the Christmas party. Okay, one more guessing game here. Here's a woman with a bird. And uh, let's uh, see, what, what does she have to say about the bird? Can you guess what's going on here? What's going on with the bird? Me and my boy Gabby Mac. He's a beautiful military macaw and a real horny boy. <laughs> he wants me to put a toy in his cage so he can feed it. It is his girlfriend and he's not happy unless the toy is there for him. What a stinker, LOL. <laughs> he's a real horny boy. Well, now you know what's happening. That, that bird's horny. Got a horny parrot on our hands here. Okay, and the final one, I actually just put this one in because a fan sent me this and they sent it as like a what the fuck moment that they had in their life and they're like, they sent this picture. They said, I don't know what this person did to have someone attach dog poop to their car, but apparently they pissed someone off. And I just want to let you know that that's not what happened here because I've actually done this to my own car and this person probably did this to their own car because what you do is like, so you park somewhere to take your dog for a walk and say your dog takes a poo right there. You don't want to carry the poo around the whole time. You also don't want to put the poo in your car because then when you get back to your car, your car is just going to smell like shit. So you do something like this because this person is actually just a good person. They didn't want to just throw it on the ground or some shit. They wanted to pick up the dog shit and throw it out later. It's exactly what I would do. You would do the same thing with like a baby diaper. I've even put a baby diaper on my hood and just left a dirty poop diaper there because I'm like, you know what? There's no garbage can around and I'm not leaving that in my car. So there you go. That one had an explanation. I thought I would help clear that up. So next time you see poop hanging from someone's car, you don't think it's some sort of normal attack that you do to someone you don't like. This person's gonna be like, oh man, that person pissed me off. I'm gonna go find some dog poop and attach it to their car. Yeah, I've seen this done before. Yeah, that's how you tell someone, I'm mad. I'll put my business card in the dog poop. Then they'll know who's pissed at them. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy tusk. And I will see you again in the next one. All the links to everything in the description down below. Thanks for being here as always. And uh, come up to your screen real quick. <gasps> Kobe. 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 <gasps> Boop. Got him. I got him. What? No, you want one too? <gasps> Boop. <laughs> oh, you want one too? Boop. <laughs> Such a corny motherfucker.